the mammalian heart. The heart is a muscular organ that is located in the chest cavity. It is located in between the two lungs in this thoracic cavity. And the primary function of the heart is to pump blood to the whole body. Now, in order to understand how the heart is adapted to this function of pumping blood, we look at the structural features, starting with the external structures. Starting with the external structure. In this diagram here, we can see the external features of the mammalian heart. The heart is enclosed in a translucent membrane, though it's not visible in this diagram, known as the pericardium. Translucent membrane known as the pericardium, it encloses the heart. This pericardial membrane secretes the pericardial fluid. Pericardial fluid that acts as a lubricant when the heart is working. The pericardial membrane also helps to keep the heart in position and check on overdilation. It prevents the heart from overdilating. So it checks on overdilation so that the heart does not stretch too much. On the outer part of the membrane, there is fatty tissue. This fatty tissue acts as a shock absorber. Now the heart is made up of a special type of muscles known as cardial, the cardiac muscles. These muscles are specialized for they contain interconnected fibers. The muscles also can beat, they can contract and relax continuously without getting fatigued. Now the muscles are supplied with oxygen and nutrients through the coronary artery, which appear on the surface of the heart. Now the heart has many vessels connected to it and all the vessels either enter or leave at the anterior end. There's a pulmonary artery that conveys the blood to the lungs. The pulmonary artery branches to the, into the right and the left. The right conveying blood to the right lung, the left conveys blood to the left lung. The outer is the largest artery that carries blood from the heart. It then branches and each branch takes blood to different parts of the body. But the main part of the outer runs on the dorsal side of the heart towards the lower part of the body, hence known as the dorsal outer. So after branching, after coming from the heart, after exiting from the heart, it passes behind the heart. There are some branches, like the carotid artery, the subclavian artery also branch, taking blood to the neck and the upper limbs and also the head. But most of the blood flows through the dorsal outer to the rest of the body. There are pulmonary arteries and veins. We have pulmonary vein which bring blood from the lungs. So pulmonary artery take blood to the lungs for oxygenation 
and then the pulmonary veins bring the oxygenated blood back to the heart. We also have the vena cava, anterior or also known as post, uh, superior vena cava that bring blood from the neck and the head region and the posterior vena cava, also known as the inferior vena cava, that brings blood from the chest and below and the lower parts of the body. So on the surface you can see that the heart has two chamber, rather two sides. There is the right side, so if you can draw a line here. Is there is the right side because the heart is facing us so what is to your left that is actually the right side of the heart because it's facing you and then the left side there are four chambers two on each side the upper chamber is known as the atrium right atrium and left atrium then right ventricle and the left ventricle. So in order to understand how these chambers function and how they are structured, we have to look at the internal structure of the heart.